What's going on guys, Chinese guy here. Today in this video I wanted to talk a little bit about Bad Company 3. Yes, Bad Company 3, I know this game is probably not going to become a reality for at least a little while, but it is still a game which the Battlefield community wants and has been waiting for basically since Bad Company 2. To be honest, I actually think the community would probably prefer Bad Company 3 than Battlefield Hardline any day. It is just too bad DICE or EA failed to acknowledge this from the community earlier, otherwise we may be seeing Battlefield Bad Company 3 rather than Battlefield Hardline this year. So in this video, I want to answer the question, do we need a Battlefield Bad Company 3? Is it something that we truly want or is Battlefield Hardline enough to satisfy us? And with the actual Bad Company community returning from the horrors of Battlefield 4, which created a huge dent in the whole community in general, and it kind of gives us the impression that DICE can no longer handle Battlefield anymore. To answer the question, we must break down and dig deep into the Bad Company games, and as some of you guys may or may not know, I only really got into the Battlefield franchise during the early cycle of Battlefield 3, but I did have some earlier experience early on with Bad Company 2 single player, which was great in my opinion compared to any other Battlefield campaign, but more on that later. Just recently, I decided to reinstall Bad Company 2 and go for a few rounds. This was my first time playing the game for at least a year or two, so everything was basically new to me all over again, but from my 2-3 to three hour play session, I can tell why the game became such a success. It was because of three main things, and to my surprise, I was able to get into a pretty populated server, and just by looking at the server browser on the PC, there were a lot of servers which had people on them and that was pretty surprising to me considering this game is pretty old and I'm just surprised servers are still running for it. Now back onto the topic about the three main things which Bad Company 2 did very well. Firstly, it was that simple. You can just quickly load it up on the PC without using the stupid battle log and all of its errors which you encounter when you use it for Battlefield 3 and Battlefield 4. You just hop right into the game and you just had fun. Plus, you didn't have to worry about what you were going to pick for your gadgets or your weapon. It was either A or B, not A or B or C or D or E and so on. Like for example, if you want to destroy vehicles, you just bring an RPG or an AT4. If you want to sneak around and be stealthy, you can use the recon kit and just bring motion balls so you can basically find out where all the enemies are and try to avoid them. You just don't have a million different gadgets like you did in Battlefield 4. I just felt like they added so much in Battlefield 4 to try to make the game worth 60 bucks, and a lot of gadgets from that game just basically do the exact same thing. So to me, Bad Company 2 was a lot more simple. Then the next thing which Bad Company 2 did very well was the true destruction. You can basically level all the buildings in a map sometimes depending on the map but a lot of times those buildings are out in the open for you to destroy and when you destroy the building you felt like you are blowing it up for a tactical reason you know an enemy is in there and if you want to get to him you can just blow a hole in the wall and create a shortcut for yourself you can truly level buildings and there's not those invincible skyscrapers which you see in Battlefield 3 and Battlefield 4. It's just throughout the whole map you'll see small little buildings which you can use as cover if you really needed to. And if you want to destroy it, it is quite easy. Compared to Battlefield 3 and Battlefield 4, you just aren't randomly blowing holes in the walls and overall it felt a lot more tactical. And lastly, I have to mention the memorable campaign again. So I felt like Battlefield 4 actually tried to recreate this experience with the Tombstone Squad but it kind of failed. The campaign in Bad Company 2 was actually humorous and it was pretty funny following the campaign. They make little jokes and I thought it was pretty interesting. 
the player actually created an emotional bond with the characters so you actually really felt for them. For once, I actually cared about the story in Bad Company 2 and I still want to know what actually happened after Bad Company 2 because it kinda ended on a cliffhanger. But even with the many great things done in this game, Bad Company 2 was not without a flaw. There was no such thing as strafing when you are walking around and not to forget you couldn't even prone. Those are basic movements. So from a Battlefield player that played mostly from Battlefield 3 and Battlefield 4, those two elements of gameplay really made me the player I am. So without it, it was very hard for me to adapt to the elements which were missing. So I was kind of struggling getting used to Bad Company all over again. But getting back onto topic, I feel Bad Company 3 is the Battlefield game which most of the community wants, not Battlefield Hardline, which I think a lot of us, including me, thinks it is a DLC, not really a full game. So in summary, Bad Company games in the past has been something really special even compared to the new Battlefield titles and if they were to make Bad Company 3, I think DICE would really have to step up their game because Battlefield 4 wasn't all that great because of all the netcode issues and just overall how unstable the game was. They just need to improve on everything overall from destruction to the single player and even to the DLC. Just take a look at Bad Company 2's DLC, Vietnam. That was possibly the most content filled DLC that DICE has ever created and it isn't just content, it is actually good content. They can also start making free small micro DLC for players like guns, gadgets and maybe vehicles. Do what GTA 5 is doing with their micro DLC packs where they're giving them away every time they launch a new patch. It works very well to make the community happy and it keeps players playing their game. It would definitely help repair some of the damages done in Battlefield 4 but I don't think that can ever be fixed. I know this all sounds far fetched because EA owns DICE but I guess nothing's impossible. Anyways, let's hope after Battlefield Hardline and Battlefront 3, we can finally see DICE go back to their roots with a bad company game. But then again, we will just have to wait and hope for the best that DICE doesn't decide to create another Battlefield game which the community doesn't really want. Alright guys, as always, I want to thank you for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed. Leave a like down below and a comment down below if you did. If not, then leave a dislike. Anything will be good. Peace out, guys.